who am I imitating there? Happy Monday, happy Veterans Day, and welcome to the vlog. Today, I want to cover a little bit as I go throughout my day, this whole issue of this digital piece, the connections that we have, and social media status, and how we get so stuck in creating this image, versus creating real in-person relationships, or IRL. Oh cool, lol, hashtag this, hashtag that, smiley face, cool. Well I'll be right with you, I'm just finishing an email here and a text and a phone call and everything else and I'm on Twitter and YouTube of course and social media platforms all over the place. Today's gonna be a little bit more of a story hour about trying to separate the two, getting stuck on this and addicted to the phone and social media and what can be the digital fakeness in some way versus reality and people in real life. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that Cody Wander impression. Um, back in 2014, I started this podcast. This is just one example. With this intention that I'm going to create this audience and this audience will be more of the client base for the fitness training that I was doing, fitness business. But in all reality, I didn't. This is what I love about taking chances and new business adventures or whatever it is, is that you don't really ever know. You think you know what the plan is, but the plan always changes. So longer story short in this part of the story is, I, that's not what happened. <laughs> a lot of things were to completely opposite, but I was in the, a little mastermind group, which where I formed a lot of connections and that was all digital, Skype sessions, t meetings, phone calls, that sort of thing. And that turned into some real life in-person meetings. The first one of those meetings was a conference, a podcast conference in Dallas, where I met probably a good handful of other podcast hosts. And I formed some really great friendships. To this day, I still can call them up, probably could stay at their house across the country, or across the world in some cases. I just heard from someone in London today that I was on that podcast. It starts here, but it, I don't think it can continue here because you never get that in-person depth that other those other pieces of connection that you only get in person versus this. Fast forward to last December, I went out to Vancouver, Canada, British Columbia, beautiful there. Met my friend Scott. We jumped in a car. We drove to Kelowna. This is all dialogued in my Canada vlog here on my channel. I'll link it somewhere here and also down below in this description. But we drove to Kelowna and I met Derek with Scott with us for the first time in person after I've known him for four or five years probably at that point. And we, talk, we talked a lot daily and used technology, Skype sessions, Facebook or whatever it was to stay connected, even video chats. But once we met, we were like, oh, I really know who you are and I know all. It's like you're longtime friends because the only missing component was that person thing. But that I'll also have to say, meeting in person took everything up a whole nother level. These digital platforms get us connected because we can find a very small piece of personality, uniqueness, creativity, interests, whatever those commonalities are. Commonalities, yes, that's a word. But that creates the connection, puts us into the same groups and the world becomes so much smaller. But from there, take it into the person, go to the conferences, whatever it is to get you into the same city. Collab is a good example here on YouTube, is reaching out and connecting with as many people in your area and expanding into that. What's an excuse I can go to New York or Miami or London or wherever it is. Go there, connect with as many people as possible and you'll, you'll, it's really powerful when you start to do this IRL, hashtag IRL. Fun. Yeah, that's right. No yeah. fun. Yeah, okay, I better let you be and then we'll, I don't know. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll be around, I'll probably, Head off for a few minutes, probably, but it'll be around here. Just to clarify, yes, I have the same thing on that I did yesterday. The beauty, the, the good and the bad of working at home, but I'm like, I don't want to go out at all. It's cold and it's dark. This is that time of the year. It's not my favorite, but so I have about what I have one, two layers on, plus this, plus the big winter jacket. Get to. Uh, 
go out and warm up the car before I go anywhere, but I have to get out of here for a few minutes just because I go a little crazy. ATM machine. here at the mall and the reason that I thought of the connection and the whole thing because I heard this podcast today when you replace emotional connections with the digital ones you lose sensation of being present and the feeling of being alive that's from this book back to human by Dan Schwabel I think it is and I have to agree because if there is no human connection there's really nothing left Going forward many years down the road, I think there's gonna be a lot of automation and jobs lost and pretty much computers doing everything that we're doing now. So what's left over is that connection, the human connection without that, you can't replace that with a machine. And let there be light! Yes, if I finally have some light, I have to come downstairs to um, get a little bit better light. I have some new lights that I put in when I moved in here. It's not finished, a little dungy, but it works. I'm gonna end the vlog here. So much more to say on the topic, but so many more videos coming up your way as well. Remember to subscribe, like, do all the stuff. I'd like to bring you along the journey as we figure out things in life and overcome adversity and seek new experiences. Mm -hmm.